The Saints' first two practices were closed to fans, but Saturday morning, Houdat Nation will descend upon the team facility to watch the black and gold finally work out. That's right, and many will be cheering on second-year safety Marcus Williams. Fletcher Mackle is here with more to talk about how he's bouncing back after the Minnesota miracle. Fletch. Uh, that's right, Solo. 21-year-old rookie Marcus Williams had a very solid season in 2017. He picked off five passes and proved he'd be a mainstay in the defensive backfield alongside rookie of the year Marshawn Lattimore. But unfortunately, Williams was largely responsible for a play that produced the most heartbreaking moment in Saints franchise history. His missed tackle on the final play of a playoff game back in January sent the Vikings to the NFC Championship game in the Saints' home. Williams handled the difficult moment like a seasoned pro, but he's been asked about the Minnesota miracle a lot over the last eight months, so he's glad training camp is finally here because he's ready to move forward. Man, it's, it's the past. Like I said, uh, I moved on. You know, you know it's always going to be in your mind, but you got to move on. You got It's a new season, a new season, new new team. Everybody's everybody's trying to be better than they were last year. You know, we don't pick off where we left out last year. We all start all over and we start again. You know, do what we got to do to make it to the next level. Uh, Saints fans planning, or the Saints are planning a fan fest experience for Saturday. So fans attending are urged to get to the workout early because the main street in front of the team facility will be closed and used as a pedestrian mall. Our final chance to talk Saints here because this is Scott Walker's final show with us. Well, look, I think as you go into this season and you see what the Saints are expected to do, Saints fans like to get overly optimistic, but it's hard with this group not to get overly optimistic going into the season. You are right. I am optimistic, but since this is your last show, your last chance to express your opinion about the Saints, I've got some questions for you. Okay. Are the Saints going to the playoffs? Yes. Are the Saints going to win the division? Yes. Are the Saints going to the Super Bowl? Yes. And you know why I say all that? Because if they go to the Super Bowl, I'm coming back to help with that coverage in Atlanta when they win the Super Bowl on the Falcons' home field. Still a tremendous moment on the field together for Super Bowl 44. It was. Unforgettable that, that we were there when the clock ticked down and to see the emotion on the field, some of which you'll see uh, later at the end of the newscast when we look back. But incredible to be, have been a part of that all those years ago. That's right. Let's hope they can do it again this season. I already said it's happening. There so you go. Count on it. On record. Book it. Sella. All right. Good evening, everyone. I'm Fletcher Mackle, and one of the big questions we'll continue to follow during training camp practices and when the preseason games start is who's replacing Mark Ingram in the Saints' backfield while the veteran running back serves his four-game suspension for violating the NFL's performance-enhancing drug policy. To help answer that question tonight, let's go to the team facility and sports anchor Sharif Ishak. The Saints are going to need some help at running back while Mark Ingram serves his suspension. So in steps Shane Vereen, who had only one workout this offseason, the Saints. And now the 29-year-old is ready to step in and step up alongside Alvin Kamara. I'm trying to contribute as much as I can. You know, uh, every time, every opportunity I get to catch the ball, hopefully I can produce and do something with it. Um, that's my goal, and, and that's going to continue to be my goal throughout the season. Once Ingram returns, it's going to be a loaded backfield with limited touches. But Vereen says with any touch he gets, he has to make it count. You feel like you got you got to contribute to the to the team somehow. You got to contribute to the room. Um, I know I'm joining a, a very very talented backfield, and I'm excited about that. He's even more excited to join an offense that has great vision for a dual threat running back like himself. Right now, it's just me trying to learn, me trying to trying to get my feet wet, me trying to get comfortable with the offense so I can play as fast as possible. Uh, you know, sometimes you feel like you're a step behind uh, when you know two, three days into a new offense like this. So uh, I'm just trying to trying to establish myself. Establish himself like he did with the Giants and Patriots. Oh yeah, with Super Bowl champ quarterbacks and Eli Manning and Tom Brady, and now he has another champ in Drew Brees, which makes you ask: Is it an accident? or on purpose that he ends up with a superstar quarterback. I think that's a little bit of luck, uh, you know, a lot of blessings. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, every, every stop I've made along this, along this uh, career has been a good one. Um, and I'm, you know, looking forward to, to continuing that journey now. When it comes to trust between Vereen and Breeze, Vereen feels like it's going to take a few games. He says so hopefully halfway through the season, the trust will fully be there. In Mattery, Sharif Ishak, WDSU News. As for practice today, let's start with the Fountain of Youth play. Two guys who are truly ageless wonders. 39-year-old Drew Brees hooking up with 37-year-old tight end Ben Watson. But it was the defense 
that provided the bulk of the highlights this morning. Rookie T.J. Barrett picked off by Devontae Harris. Harris was a training camp standout last year. Then Marcus Williams with this pass breakup of Drew Brees. The secondary has been very solid the first two days. Now to baseball. Former LSU baseball star Wally.